Oh, that's what the animation looks like for the warden? I didn't realize that's how it worked. Generic control in the deck goes moving here. Back with another Game 3 Minecraft reaction. Today we are doing one that I have been looking forward to for quite a long time, which is the Forgotten War of Minecraft, where I believe he's going to be diving into the, the Warden and the Ancient Cities and all that fun stuff. A lot of people told me before I even started the series that the Minecraft Game Theories really pick up when it gets to the Ancient Cities. I'm actually restoring one right now. Uh, I actually took a little break because Tricky Trials came out. I stream Minecraft every single Monday. I do it on Twitch every single Monday. It's my favorite stream the entire week it's super chill super fun tricky trials came out i had no idea what that was i actually have the core and i think i might actually i have enough materials to make a mace i believe it's what it's called and i kept the one shrieker alive and i still need to fight the warden so maybe i might like contain the warden in an area and then drop down with a mace because i actually have an enchantment from the mace as well i don't know it's just an idea you can check out my reaction to the last minecraft game theory video it's going to be the secrets of the undead ender dragon I'll leave it right up there also the link down below in the description also a place my channel actually two places my channel because i finally made a playlist for my minecraft game theory reactions and my game theory reactions separate and then there's also the my uh game theory fnaf reactions in chronological order if you meant to watch any of those shout out to the patrons they go to the videos day early could not do this if it was not for them i do read all your comments whether you're a patron or not whether you're subscribed or not but i hope your subscribers are approaching 100,000 subscribers but let's go ahead jump to the forgotten war of minecraft all right, I've been looking forward to this, this for so long. Sponsored by Squarespace. Uh, I streamed Minecraft during Monday, the second boss of Minecraft. and I still haven't fought the board and I'm restoring Ancient City, and I just got a mace. Oh, I have this stuff to build it. I haven't used it yet. The ancient builders, I might try to one-shot a warden. History, their works brought to ruin, and their name eroded by time. I think that would be fun. The warden, the newest threat to this world, a creature of blind rage engulfed in I haven't shadow, been that close to one. force fueled by souls and empowered by darkness. Why is there a villager? Three distinct mysteries. I mean, I'm gonna bring villagers to, to my ancient city. I'm restoring all of them united by this. All the music discs where the wild thing Hello, is. Hello, internet. Welcome to Game Theory, the show that can't wait to hear you. Click that subscribe button. Already done. Oh, no. I remember the first time I went to the uh, I remember the first time I went to, I was safe? terrified. Are we okay? So, yeah, sorry about that. I kind of forgot the warden was a thing. But can you blame me? The warden was due to come out in the summer of 2021. It did but not. then the deep dark ended up getting removed from the update, which itself oh. got split into two parts. Speaking of two parts, I'll no, don't worry. This episode isn't a two-parter. But we That's do good. have ourselves a second Minecraft video happening today over on Food Theory. That's right. We got ourselves a Minecraft be? weekend, y'all. Well, here I we're busy dissecting the latest additions from the wild update. Over Smitty on Food Minecraft Theory, video. we're talking all about the Dream SMP. Which oh. Honestly, doesn't sound very foodie, but then Dream decided also, to go and kill blade. Tommy in it using a potato. And you know where there is murder to be had. We'll probably find the a way to make a theory out of it. So head on over there for all your potato Was it that big of a deal? needs after you're done with this video. Because first, we got to finish talking about the, the Warden. As around. of this week, it has finally launched as part of the Wild Update. According to Mojang, not only have the mechanics of the Warden uh, been refined, but they've refined added to new what? blocks to uh, the dark, new items. I have one of those. Oh yeah, we're also getting one of the coolest, most complex and interesting structures ever. And I'm restoring one the, the how it cities. used to be. Based on the name alone, this I'm removing like all the shulk. It's taking forever. For years. Oh, victory has never felt so good. But you know what feels even better than being right? Having new uh, lore to chew on. Yeah, Mojang the ancient cities. Mojang understands that you don't just drop an entire underground city complete with giant burning portal frame into your game mm -hmm. without considering what it's That's doing actually there the from a story perspective. I, and similarly, uh, you don't just it, introduce the single strongest to the mob to guard it without factoring in the rash now for placing it there. So our question is why? What does all of this mean for the secret story of Minecraft? How I don't do these know. disparate parts wind up working together? Well, shockingly, not only is everything here connected, but all of it is also tied to one of the longest standing mysteries in the game. The Wither? The wither. How is it tied to, to the all, Wither? You actually need one key item. An item that's been broken up and hidden throughout all of these updates. Something innocuous. Something how high do I have to be? Simple music like, disc. how many blocks high do I have to be to is drop on a warden? through this one disc. So what is the story the of the Deep side? Dark and how does it tie into the narrative that we've been building over the last three years? Strap in, friends, because today we're diving in deep to tap into the darkest lore of Minecraft. Awesome. First, let's talk about the Skulk. When the Skulk family of blocks mm, was originally I'm announced in 2020, we understood the basics. A Skulk sensor so reacts many. to noise, and when it does, it alerts a fearsome monster known as the Warden to your exact location. Two hits later, you dead, son. But mm -hmm. now we have more details, and what we've learned is disturbing, to say the least. A new block... Why we 
called the Skulk Catalyst oh. basically takes an energy to transform XP. the blocks around it into other Skulk blocks. That's how this creature is able to spread, but it begs the question, what energy is it using to convert these regular blocks? XP. Well, this ain't your grandma's moss blocks that you can just bone meal around, my friends. These I'm things sorry, take something what? a bit what? more potent no. than that. The souls of the living. You see, if a mob dies within eight blocks of the catalyst, the mob won't Oh, drop I didn't realize orbs. that's how Instead, it works. Instead, souls appear above the catalyst, at which point the skulk spreads to new blocks. Remind me, where have we seen souls I have in actually to never before? seen that Oh yeah, before. the warden. In the middle of its chest, we have what- Also, I haven't seen the warden animation. Souls. Now, in our last theory, we speculated that wardens were created using a combination of skulk and souls- Like, I have not seen- underground cities. However, I'm not so sure anymore. I haven't Back seen the animation. We got this tweet oh, what's from 1.19 developer Brandon Pierce, which says, quote, You could definitely argue that the skulk in general is sentient. Now, hmm. we just talked about how when a mob dies near the skulk catalyst, it creates the cats new are skulk blocks. Around. But it can also create a new block called the skulk shrieker. This block is the key. Because not only does it have souls swirling around Boys. inside of it, thereby confirming that it's being created from the souls of the dead, but it also makes these sounds. <sighs> And then it's everything goes dark. I need to sleep tonight. Minecraft is totally a kid's game. Anyway, mm -hmm, that yeah. isn't just signaling that I have to take an adult diaper change. <laughs> when it goes off, you'll hear another noise. The sound of something burrowing up to the surface. Oh, that's, that's what the animation the looks like for so the warden? So what am I saying here? Well, I'm suggesting that the warden wasn't created by the ancient builders to protect themselves. Instead, I think it was it's made by the skull to, to protect, protect itself. itself. Yeah, that makes sense. When it senses danger, it summons a creature made of skull. An unstoppable force that acts as the final line of defense, trying to ensure the survival of this species. Species. And this is actually supported right, by the well, warden item drops. You see, if you manage to take one it down, drops. it drops a single skulk catalyst, which honestly feels like a crummy reward for something so difficult. You're not However, supposed to fight from it. a lore standpoint, it makes perfect sense. If the warden's primary objective I've is indeed the survival kids. of the species, and in the defeat, it would want to okay, release a last-ditch attempt to keep the species remember. alive. Sure. Hence, a single catalyst. But that still doesn't answer the major question, where did the skulk come from in the first place? For that, we actually That's have to actually take a closer look at the new question. biome, the Deep Dark. And more Importantly, the those ancient city. cities. Once you enter the deep dark I didn't biome, know you start to find these patches of skulk blocks. They can, if they're separate things. Like not every deep dark has an ancient city. You'll find an ancient city, ruins covered in even more skulk. Logic would dictate that since the concentration of skulk is higher in the cities, this must be where it originated, and this seems to be correct. In the ancient cities, the hallways yeah, are covered I in wool and carpets. That's an restore, important detail. Restore since restore the skulk all of that. All that wool are sound-based entities. They respond to your steps, and wouldn't you know, wool and carpet are the only blocks that don't activate the skulk when they're walking. Which does make this sense. This tells us that the inhabitants of the ancient city were clearly aware of the warden, and they were trying to live their best alongside it. However, just because this seems to be where the warden lives now doesn't mean that it's always been here. Right in the middle of the ancient cities is a the massive portal. structure made out of a new block called Reinforced Deep Slate. Oh, I didn't it's actually know it had a name. Indestructible block similar but it looks like a portal, portal block, portal yeah. Frames. But that's not where the similarities end. In the game files, this big structure of Reinforced Deep Slate is known as the City Center. It's a pretty generic name. Yeah, right? well, I mean, really it's the much. However, However, there are smaller versions of that same city center dotted around, and in the oh. game files, they're known as small portal statues. Portal, you say? No, sure. Well, Mojang is I've recently that played the portal. I can't think of a year ago. That's missing the point. I don't think Mojang is introducing a new dimension. I think they're introducing the idea of a new dimension as they continue to explain Minecraft's okay, no, they history. Definitely should make a history a new dimension that becomes a lot more clear thanks to one Imagine little a item, bigger or should I say fight. nine little items that make up a bigger one? Disc number five. That's right, ladies Let's and gentlemen. We've got ourselves a new numbered disc and you know what that means or actually no based storytelling but before i can start piecing together the disc and the lore i've got to tell you about how you can start piecing together oh. a great website because this, this portion of this episode is sponsored by squarespace squarespace didn't, is like, the did it squarespace just buy like brand and google domains or something online. like that or in my case your cat's business oh that's right i made a website dedicated to my cat skips beauty pics why because while i could have done something predictable like show you one of the multiple professional There's sites that that we've made in the past using okay. Squarespace. They're, I instead they're going wanted crazy. an excuse to show you it's some top tier skin literally content. literally 1 a.m. websites with Squarespace they're going so insane. fast and easy. I was they're like, 14 weeks why old. not? So, true story, I've tried to make websites in the past and I could barely Boys. get one picture on the front page. And when I did, it was pixelated and weirdly sized. And I do need to make a website. skewed to the right. It was a hot mess. My C++ Boys. was more like D minus minus. But with Squarespace's editable templates, you can make a website oh, that well. looks professional and amazing in minutes. No joke, you have to actively try to make them look bad. I mean, look. Oh. 
I'm wow. practically designing skips I really should probably real try it. using their template as I talk to you. Look at him. How can you resist that sweet cuddly boy? Or hey, mm. maybe you're trying to do something more important than oh, turn your down. hand to the next feel influencer. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't work as well as it should. Say you're a freelance artist trying to book commissions. Boom! Squarespace has an yeah, interactive my cats, booking uh, system today built today have Are figured out that they can turn on my job and sink place in my kitchen. Your resume? That's done just, and done. Want to offer exclusive lovely. content to we, we love members? That. Squarespace makes that sort of thing easy to implement. Also, note to self, only cat section of Skip's site for the spiciest images, like sleeping and uh, post bath. So if you want to start bath. building your perfect website yeah. using these you're incredible not, tools, not to give cats bath. They kind of do that themselves. Or, you know the drill by now, just click the link in the top of the description. Make sure you use the code MATPAT, M-A-T-P-A-T, spelled the correct way, to save 10% on your first website or domain. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring this part of the episode. Thank you for supporting Skip's modeling career. And now, back to our episode. He's playing with his brother. Disc 5 is actually split into nine fragments which can be found in chests throughout the ancient city. But instead of delightful music, this one follows in the footsteps of discs 11 and 13, a sound effect driven track that's designed to tell us a story in order to fill out the lore of what's going on here. The track starts off with the classic sound of static, like oh, you'd expect oh, from an oh old- no. Oh no. Here. The track starts off with the classic sound of static, yeah, like you'd expect uh, from an old record player. But it begins to ramp up into yeah, a loud rumble, which is then immediately cut off, followed by what appears to be the speed up of time. We'll hear these speed sorts ramp. of speed ramp effects a lot throughout the disc. The next set of sounds are ones that are familiar to anyone who knows discs 11 and 13. The sound of someone walking underground. This time a on dripstone. You can tell based on the footsteps. <laughs> using their flint and steel to light a fire while bats flutter through the cave. A bat in an ancient city is crazy because this intrusion is so ballistic. Walks, it eventually turns into a march, which is then joined by other footsteps coming from what seems like heavily armored soldiers. We can make out sirens going off in the background. Sirens? Oh. What in the Warhammer 40k is this? The lever gets pulled. Now, I looked through a lot of Minecraft sounds, but there are a number of sounds in this track that I couldn't find exact matches for. It sounds like they've added extra sound effects to help build out the story. Like in this case, the sound of a lever is more like a switch being flicked, but in the track it feels much bigger, like a lever that's attached to a large mechanism. Because following that oh, sound, so there's just... some creaking and the sound of wind rushing in, like a huge door that's being opened. Like the portal, maybe? Maybe they this, maybe they created a portal a and that's how the skull came in. Shriek. Maybe the skull came in through the portal and invaded and took over the ancient city. Self-explanatory. The first person we hear walking is someone leading a charge or a group of soldiers, lighting a torch to help them walk underground. In the distance, we hear the warning sirens of a city blaring. They open the door in order to defend the city against something when suddenly the disc has a weird break. We hear 23 seconds of just music. It's almost like different discs have been smashed together. It mm -hmm. wasn't fragments after all. That would also that probably was, explain all the time yeah. warping effects we hear throughout the track. Different chunks of the disc were recorded Boys. at different RPMs which is why the audio is constantly warping and shifting. Anyway, when the music ends, we're back to the story. Bubbling lava can be heard, while more footsteps on dripstone move towards an amethyst. They break the block, and doing so seems to set off some sort of a cave-in. Amethyst? Or maybe it was just the sound that a warden got mad. ...from the nether wastelands, which would explain the lava, but not really the dripstone floor of the amethyst. After the cave-in, we hear screeches off in the distance. Yeah, maybe it was the warden, maybe the sound. Would appear to be phantoms. Oh, no. Yeah, apparently there There's was like, like two other options. Ground. However, There's something called what the hunger and the barnacle. Quickly, and the terrain changes from dripstone to stone to dirt. Meaning that he's running relatively close to the surface. We hear the clanging of tools as they or collect trying materials, to escape. as they light fires to see. <laughs> But he clearly sees something that causes him to run away quickly, only to oh, then reveal the another monster roar, which is again quickly distorted by the change of scene from the disc. Thuds are now heard in the background, explosions distorted by the cave system. Distant explosions. Our places down sand, scrapes a metal tool against a stony object, and finally a mechanical noise is heard, all while eerie voices whisper in the background, similar to that of the soul sand valleys. But the explosions are getting more frequent, until eventually what? one bursts into the area. Have I actually listened to this? There's a brief moment of silence before suddenly the reverse sound of glass is heard, and we hear the souls shriek in a huge gust, leaving nothing but a warping hum in the background, all of which sounds very similar to the creation of a portal. Oh. 
In that moment, if that's the sound the portal makes, that'd be sick. The portal. We know this because the sound gets louder until he places down dirt blocks to help him reach it, where we are then met with the sound of a skulk sensor and the roar of a warden. <laughs> Oh. The tape actually winds down here, but there's actually one more sound mixed in with the warden roar. Listen carefully. Which is... Did you catch it? The no. The warden roars, and it's closely followed by a slowed down death sound from one very specific mob, the Wither. The Wither? Oh. So that's the breakdown of the disc from what I can hear. But thinking about the story fragments that we have, the question is, that is actually, what does it mean? I mean, well, let's does actually it have talk a, about that last I mean, A member of an ancient builder society, the same one that made these underground cities, is out caving, collecting precious materials, when all of a sudden he hears something out in the distance. He rushes to the surface only to see the wither floating there. This oh, leads to that's the first a terrible the surprise. The emergency sirens blaring. The wither is on its way. And then so the, the noise needs sets to off the its warden. Army to try and take it down. They travel through the caves until they get to a secure entrance. When they open the gates, it's clear that their worst fears have come true. The Wither has followed the colonists down into the depths. They can hear the Wither's explosions in the distance, getting closer oh. and more frequent. Desperate for an escape, but they rush to can finish the break portal blocks? technology they've been working on. They've clearly built portals before, so they're running from the Wither. To the I still think the Wither was like used as like a weapon. We know this because of the lanterns that are all around the ancient city. They begin to make the final touches to their portal. They make it out of a block that is so impenetrable not even the wither can destroy it. This mm. is going to be their ticket out. They place soul sand underneath this new portal and they light it, which is exactly what we see left over in the ancient cities. There are also still remnants of their experiments underneath the portal. Oh, yeah, Redstone the redstone. circuits, experimenting with powering blocks, how much power you can output with different objects, redirecting power. Ultimately, soul sand seems to be the most powerful source of energy. Combining souls. all of these things together allows them to open the portal. The souls from the soul sand screaming as they're used to power it. I thought At maybe the moment, siren would have like... Breaks through. The builder makes his way to the portal to escape, but it's not what they expect. From the portal comes the warden. The warden, the, the wither, but also brings the skull. Oh, it came through. They didn't go through. So it that came is out. the story of disc five, the origins of the warden. It's not Maybe an experiment gone wrong. Portal. It's a desperate escape attempt to the wrong place, which brings with it a new and deadly invasive species, the skulk. But the thing is, disc five isn't the end of our story because how did so the So does that mean the stronghold is another thing? The end? Well, yeah. Maybe slightly more speculative, Different but hear group? me out. The warden comes through the portal and kills the wither. This wasn't the ancient builder's intent, but hey, worked out for him regardless. And so they worship yeah. the warden as some kind of god. This is why there are candles all around the portal, along with the portal being shaped uh, to look yeah, like well. the warden. However, this oh, blissful wait, it does? doesn't last forever. The ancient builders carry on with their lives, but doing so activates the new skulk that's around, which eventually resummons the warden. The Hello. warden then goes on to kill many because ancient builders, see. spreading the skulk further. Those that do manage to survive try what they can to remain in the city that they've built. They put down carpets and wool to make sure that they don't make sounds while walking around. That's a terrifying existence. Enough. I'm sure there's Even a couple moves about that. Even opening their chests sets the skulk off, and so they're forced to leave the city. The few oh, that the word just appears right there. Best cities to instead build one fortified fortress, the stronghold, built with confusing hallways and winding staircases in order to give them the ability to outrun the warden should the skulk make its way to them. In these uh, strongholds, well. they create the end portals and use them to escape from this unforgiving So the ancient world, cities came first? to then get stuck on the other side. So there you have it the origin that's of a very Minecraft's interesting theory i don't know if it's true or not mobs. but the i could definitely isn't a see experiment, it but rather an invasive species that came from another world and while many are begging which for is to be the, added to the game Disc which is serves is as that half-life that's half-life that's the story of half-life portals to mysterious new lands if the warden is what popped out last time i fear what lies in wait should we open it again but i don't want to go to a dimension of something about wardens and skulk i don't want to do that thanks i mean i just don't want to this theory was great Okay, that's a interesting. Okay, is there gonna be something scary, boys? Have you calmed down? It is literally one in the morning. Okay, you seem calm. They're fourteen weeks old today. They are yesterday, technically. Oh man, I I look forward to fighting the warden. Hopefully, I can one shot it with a mace. If I don't one shot, it's gonna be real awkward because I'm gonna be trapped in there with it. Um, <laughs> I still have not fought the wither. I saved one shrieker, one natural shrieker. Solely for the purpose of fighting the warden. I don't know what it drops. Does it actually still drop the spreader? The, the, the shulk spreader? I thought it dropped something, like, better or something. I don't really know. This has a ton of views, though. So, I don't know if he's going to come back to these. I want to learn more about the ancient cities. They're one of my favorite things in the game. That's why I decided I wanted to restore one. It's one of the biggest projects. I've actually... It's probably the biggest project I've ever done in Minecraft. 
ever and i've been playing the game since 2011 while i took a big break so i'm having to relearn the game now but this theory was incredible i look forward to hearing your thoughts about it in the comment section i do read all your comments leave them down below hope to subscribe to some of the future videos and like i said now there are three game theory uh playlists on my channel there's one for all of game theory there's one for game theory fnaf and then there's this one for game theory minecraft videos if you want to binge watch to all of those but i hope your subscribers are approaching 100 000 subscribers but until next video take care and keep the music We're playing that song.